What's going on guys, Blender Bench here. And I thought I'd make a quick video to show you guys how to achieve circular or radial arrays inside of Blender, really easy. So first thing you wanna do is grab your object and it doesn't have to be a default cube. I just chose it for simplicity. So first thing you wanna do is go to the modifier tab on the right and let's go to add an array. And really quick to show you how to use this, you wanna to go to where it says count. You can adjust this by bringing it up to duplicate it however many times you want. And where it says factor, you can um, adjust this to, you know, adjust the spacing in between each duplicate. So now that we understand that, now we can move forward. And I want to add a curve modifier to this stack. So go to modifier tab. Let's go to curve. Now we have that there. Now I can click back on the 3D viewport. And I'm going to press shift A, go down to curve. Then I want to choose circle. Then I'll press S to upscale this. And once you're satisfied, you can just left click again. And now we want to basically duplicate these cubes around this circle. So we'll reselect this default cube. And at the bottom where it says curve, where it says curve object, grab the eyedrop tool and just select your circle. And quickly you see that it follows the path as intended. So we can adjust the count. You see it follows it. And as well, you can change the factor to change the spacing in between. And that's good and dandy, but what if you want to rotate this, right? What if you want to rotate the circle? You want to select it, press R, 90, and let's just press Y. And quickly you see that it no longer follows the circular um, direction and orientation. So to go about fixing this is you want to adjust it on the modifier tab as well. So we have the cubes here. We can um, go back to the modifier tab and right where it says deform X, you want to change that to Z and you see it follows it and vice versa. So if you want to change it to a different direction, you just change it here as well. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this short and simple tutorial and I'll catch you in the next one.